Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of H.R. 2136. I would like to thank Chairman Miller, Ranking Member Klein, the members of the Education and Labor Committee, and the 70 members on both sides of the aisle who co-sponsored this important legislation. The Honorable Stephanie Tubbs Jones College Fire Prevention Act. During the last eight years of her career in Congress, the Honorable Stephanie Tubbs Jones tirelessly advocated for the passage of this bill. She believed, as, as I do, that college students must be safeguarded against house fires. When I was elected to Congress last fall, I promised myself and the people of the 11th Congressional District of Ohio that I would use my vote to support policies providing practical and lasting solutions for the district. This bill does just that. H.R. 2136, the Honorable Stephanie Tubbs Jones College Fire Prevention Act, supports the installation and management of fire suppression or fire prevention technologies in student housing, including fraternal houses. The act directs the Secretary of Education to make a com competitive grants for up to half the cost of installing fire sprinkler systems or other fire su uh, suppression or prevention technologies. The funding would be dispersed to dormitories at institutions of higher education, as well as fraternity and sorority housing. College students deserve safe housing with fire prevention systems, regardless of whether they, have, they live in non-traditional student housing, a sorority or fraternity house, or in dormitories. Fraternal organizations have long played a leading role in cultivating the social and intellectual well-being of our college students. We must ensure that these organizations have access to the necessary resources to protect our youth. So far this year, there have been six deaths attributed to student housing fires. Since the year 2000, Ohio alone has suffered 13 student deaths and 36 related campus incidents due to student housing fires, according to Campus Firewatch. When fire prevention and sprinkler systems are present, students' survival rates increase by 97% and property damage is lowered by 35%. Carol Dietz, Assistant Vice President of Facilities at John Carroll University, which is in my district, stresses the importance of fire safety measures. John Carroll is currently planning the implementation of firefighting technologies, which cost $500,000 for each residence hall. These grants could help us defray the cost of safeguarding our students. Once again, I would like to thank the Education and Labor Committee, the many supporters of this important legislation, and college students across the nation who worked tirelessly to move this legislation forward. Finally, I am grateful for the vision and compassion of my friend, the late Congresswoman Stephanie Tubbs-Jones. I reserve the balance of my time.